Hey everyone, this is Beerlbum and welcome to my complete guide to scanning in No Man's Sky. This video will cover everything that you need to know in order to make the most out of this important mechanic in the game. We'll be covering how to find resources, locate structures and get the most out of your scans. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced player, I'm sure you'll find something useful here. When starting a new game, the first thing you will be doing is fixing your scanner attachments on your multi-tool. This scanner is the most basic of scanners you can find in the game, but it already will help you in surviving the first hours of your gameplay. This basic scanner, when activated, will scan the direct surroundings for resources you will need to ensure your survival. Icons will show on the screen representing the scanned resources like oxygen, sodium and dihydrogen. These icons will only be on screen for a few seconds, but they will help you to find what you need. When jumping in your starship, the scanner will no longer scan for these resources, but instead look for points of interest like buildings, save points, drop pods and so on. You have no control over what exactly will be found, as the scanner only scans for nearby points of interest. Using the ship scanner in combination with the ley lines, you can find different types of buildings very easily. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, then check the link in the description of this video to find an explanation about ley lines. I will also share it at the end of this video. A final use of the ship scanner is when you are in space, especially when you arrive in an undiscovered part of the galaxy. When hovering your reticle over the planets, you will notice it is marked as undiscovered and no information is known. Activating your scanner while aiming at the planet will give you a short summary of what you can expect from it, from the biome to what basic resources you can find on it. It will also inform you when on-planet sentinels are on high alert or simply aggressive. Take note, you need to keep your ship aimed at the planet during the scan, otherwise it will fail. There are two more scanning modules that can be used with your ship. These need to be installed into your ship, the economy and the conflict scanner. Both these scanners will give you information about the system even before you warp towards it. The economy scanner will share with you what type of economy it is, the health of it, whether it's poor or rich, and what their trading rates are. The conflict scanner will allow you to access the conflict data of a system. The higher its level, the more pirate attacks you can expect. One more interesting function of the economy scanner is the possibility to scan for trading posts in the system. If you're in space, the scan will pick a random trade post on a random planet. If you would like to find a trading post on an exact planet, then you need to use the economy scanner while you're on the planet's surface. The signal booster is a scanning device with a limited function, similar to using your ship's sensors. It will scan and give you one of the many possible results, so it's not always what you're specifically searching for. However, its function to allow entering drop pod coordinates is quite handy. Drop pod coordinate data can either be purchased from planetary outposts or randomly found in-game. Before jumping into more interesting scanning possibilities, let us talk about the analysis visor and the survey device. These attachments can be installed on your multi-tool and give you a more in-depth information about the planet's resources, nearby locations and important hotspots, as long they are in the range of 400U. The Analysis Visor will show you a plethora of information, be it mineral deposits, valuable resources, edible plants, fauna, buildings, buried treasures and much more. Scanning fauna and flora will give you units in return, and when boosting your scanner function with extra modules, you can easily make millions on one planet. Scanner modules can be found at the multi-tool vendor in the space station. While not every vendor sells the same modules, it should be not too hard to find one that does. Scanner modules can be added to empty slots on your multi-tool and are best placed adjacent to each other. Do not use more than three modules at the same time, otherwise it overloads the scanner. Once the modules are installed, they will now boost the value of each newly scanned creature or plant. Next to the Analysis mode, you can find Target Sweep, which mainly will be used during missions and will scan for your objectives. It works very similar to finding hotspots with the Survey device. The Survey device is an attachment that works in combination with the Analysis visor and will scan for important hotspots on the planet. These hotspots can be electrical, mineral or gas pockets. They are different from the mineral deposits you find with the Analysis visor, as these need to be extracted using buildable mining equipment. For more information about these hotspots, I have a great guide that covers in-depth how these work, how to be found and how to be used. Check the video in the description for the links as well. The final scanning methods are definitely the most useful ones as they allow for much more specific scanning and it won't cost you anything other than the first installation. The installation of these modules needs to be done on your exocrafts. 
In total, we have six exocrafts, the Nomad, the Pilgrim, the Roamer, the Colossus, the Minotaur and lastly the Notlin. The first four exocrafts have the same scanning function, so let us start with them. Each of these exocrafts has three modules it can have installed. You can find these modules at the Anomaly Vendor Persis. When installing the main scanning module, it will be possible to start scanning for one specific structure, which is the depots. These are the central guarded silos that contain valuable resources. Installing the second module, which is a B-class, will grant you access to scanning two more points of interest, which are the drop pods and the abandoned structures. Finally, the last module, which is an A-class, will add three more structures to the list, which are the trading post, ruins and alien structures. To scan for any of these points of interest, enter the Exocraft, open the quick menu at the bottom of the screen and select the scanning icon. And there you will find the selection of locations you can scan for. Simply select the building you're looking for and the Exocraft will scan it for you. The two remaining Exocrafts, the Minotaur and the Nautilus, have specific structures in their list. First of all, you will need to install only one scanning module, which is nice. The Minotaur has a selection of four structures to scan for. Two of them are similar to the other exocrafts, which are the depots and the trading posts. The specific scans that can be done with the Minotaur are the distress signals and the secure facilities. As this is the more combat-focused exocraft, it seems to make the most sense. The Nautilus will therefore scan for structures more suited for its environment. In the quick menu, you will find four locations to scan for, which are drowned ships, underwater freighters, sunken buildings and submerged ruins. The advantage of the Exocrafts is that you can call them in easily wherever you are on the planet and activate the scan suited for your search. So there you have it, all the ways you can scan in No Man's Sky. If you found this guide informative and helpful, I would love for you to leave a like as it really helps the channel out. If you have any friends that just started or could use this bit of information, I am sure they would appreciate you when sharing it with them. If you liked this guide, I am sure you will love watching one of these as well. This was Bewebum, thank you so much for watching, goodbye for now.